McGoffinsville was established by James Wiley McGoffin about a half mile north of the Rio Grande. It was known as the American El Paso, in contrast to Ciudad Juarez, Mexico. McGoffinsville consisted of a group of adobe buildings around an open square. It was very huge at the time. It was predicted that McGoffinsville would remain the center of Anglo-American settlement in the El Paso area. In January of 1854, an army post was established right here in McGoffinsville. Major Jefferson Van Horn led 257 soldiers to this location and rented from McGoffin. The post was officially designated as Fort Bliss. Most of the buildings here at McGoffinsville, including the fort, were destroyed and severely damaged by the Rio Grande flood of 1868. That same year, James Wiley McGoffin died. The site was incorporated into El Paso by 1873. Since 1995, the new owners of the warehouse have reported paranormal activity. Now here's Daniel to tell you more about what happens here at the Portales Milling Warehouse. We got a guy that's uh, almost a pastor, Christian guy. Mm -hmm. He sees shadows. Everybody, that, that's one thing that everybody's going to agree on. You see shadows all over this place in the middle of the day. You've been up here? Yeah, I mean, you're loading. It's more in the warehouse downstairs. Mm -hmm. But even, you know, just loading trucks or moving furniture around, you could just all over the place. Just, you know, you see oh, shadows God, moving. Wow. You know? And it's during the day. When we saw that man, it was during the middle of the day. That's right, you were the one that told me that you saw that man. Yeah, it was, it was, there. yeah, it was just in the middle of the day, you know, and, uh, and I looked at it. it's where the boxes are? Yeah, right, right outside, <clears throat> you know, when you go to your right, uh -huh. right in front of the, the door, you know, uh -huh. and, uh, I remember I saw him and I turned around and looked at the warehouse manager and I was like, you see that? He's like, just ignore it, man. I said, okay, just ignore it. <laughs> uh, you know, because he's so used to it as well. Uh -huh. You know. And is it the same man that you guys see? That, you know, I've only seen that guy once. What did he look like? It, it's just like a worker kind of guy, just arms crossed looking. Do you know you. what he's wearing? No, you know, we, I didn't, it, he didn't stay there that long, you know what I mean? It, it just, he appeared to have that rugged look to mm -hmm. him, you know? And it was just a freaky feeling and we ignored it and we moved on. <laughs> of the old Portales Milling Warehouse. Well, during our investigation, we found uh, plenty of evidence that there had been a fire here on the rafters all around us and the beams uh, under the warehouse floor. They, uh, we have ashes uh, that I'm literally uh, squatting on right now. Uh, the rumor does have it that there was a, a big fire in McGoffinsville. Uh, Back in those days, they would just build right over the foundation, wouldn't clean up the fire or the ashes or anything. Uh, there is a really good possibility that we are uh, standing on top of the remains of the huge fire of uh, McGoffinsville. Uh, while investigating, we do get very strong uh, smells of burnt wood. Uh, many of the employees here have chased it numerous times. Uh, to find uh, the source of the, the smell of the burn wood with no luck. We've never been able to find anything that has been burning at the time. We're down here in the basement and we're finding foundation support beams burnt, charred, uh, a lot of burnt debris down here. And we're wondering if that, if that has anything to do with the smell of smoke that they're getting upstairs. There could possibly be a draft down here uh, taking that smell 
up through the, through the floorboards, which aren't really exactly solid and air, airtight. But uh, we're standing about 30 feet from where we, we got an EVP, which sounded like, well, you listen, see what you think. 